I'm in the trenches with my rifle, do rag for the title. Dear tag in the clouds, make you question the Bible. This deadly podcast will make you threaten your rivals. Drew Montana and I in my lead, straight finessing your idols. Hey! <laughs> Run it, Run it. Oh, I need, I need water, dude. <laughs> yeah, make sure your voice right, bro. Yeah, my boy got to hear this. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, Charles Blessing. I am for real. Apologize a million ways. I'm sorry, Charles Blisnick. I am for real. Didn't mean to make your body fly. I thought it was guys just being guys. My baby mama drama don't like me. Blizz, I'm so sorry. Please don't ever try and fight me. She be doing things like having them boys come from her neighborhood to the studio trying to fight me. She needed to get a piece of the American pie to take a bite out. That's my house. I'll disconnect the cable, turn the lights out. Blizz. I didn't really mean to knee you. That was an accident. It was funny though in the moment. But looking back, I regret that. Vodka cranberries make me aggressive. I was mad aggressive. I shouldn't have been aggressive. Blizz, I ain't gonna be aggressive ever again. I'm sorry. Blizz, let's just be friends. I'm sorry, Charles Blizz, Nick. I am that was beautiful, man. Very nice. Yeah, dude. I just freestyled from the heart. Blizz, we sorry, yo, for all of the past things that have happened. Yeah. And, and, oh, and before it. we get into it, welcome Alan Massenberg, dude. Alan Massenberg here. Dude. Thanks for coming on the cast, Alan, babe, Thank man. you, dude. We caught, we, ca- we caught Alan on his way up. A year from now, he's going to be like, well, what? Who the fuck are you guys? I'm coming back. <laughs> he's like, wait, do rag in the huh? <laughs> I'll be back next year. Don't worry. <laughs> um yeah, I guess we got to address it up top. Shout out to everyone who came to the live pod. Yo, thanks for coming to the live pod. Yeah, that yo. was so much so fun. So fun. So much fun. Uh, so we did the gay off uh, round two. We crowned Ben Staub the champion. Ben Again, Staub won the whole thing. Returning champion. Yeah. Reigning defending. And still. but uh, Winter for another year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Satani Phil. <laughs> the gay hog saw his shadow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we did uh, one of the events in the gay off was uh it was supposed to be we both wear boxing gloves they throw three punches at me mm-hmm. and i can't throw back and i just shell up mm-hmm. and uh so the first three guys all punched me either in the face or in the back of the head pretty hard mm-hmm. and then blizz was like yo it's only fair and not gay if i fight drew in a fair fight mm-hmm which I respect. That, that was a good tactic. That yeah. was a great tactic. That is the least gayest thing you can do. But I'm not just going to hit you. You got to hit me back. Indeed. I like that. And Blizz was having a great time up until this point. So in my head, I was like, we can we can maybe get a little excessive. And I was a little drunk. And Bl- also, Blizz dressed very nice. Very nicely dressed. <laughs> yeah, he looks so good. Yeah, Blizz. <laughs> <laughs> he looks great. No, I- no, here's the seriously, thing. guys. He I seriously looks, looks so good. good. Stop it. I could tell Blizz had been working out when I went up to do this. For real, so. yeah. He's huge. Yeah, he looked jacked. <laughs> no, no, stop, dude. Don't do this. <laughs> no, no, no. Really? Yeah. Um, Blizz rules. Uh, I feel uh, genuinely bad about this. But yeah. But, so he challenged me to a fair fight, and we agreed we would both throw three strikes. And I think there needs to be just like a, a, a tad more context to this. Charles didn't know this was the gay off. No. Oh, yeah, none so, of the contestants knew before they got there. They didn't know. So he, he was nervous going into it because he didn't know what he was doing on the show. Then he finds out it's the gay off. We're having fun. Then we're kind of clowning on him. Yeah. I, I was calling him a twink and stuff. All in good fun. Yeah, just fun. But and then, and then he gets kicked off the stage. Actually, this is Mike Rainey's fault because why Rainey should be standing on the other side. This is Rainey's fault. True. Rainey, you're there to help people. You're here to catch people, Rainey. Look, he's yeah. having so much fun. Charles is he having is. a great Look at his time. Face. I know, I nothing but like, teeth. Right. Oh. <laughs> he was so happy right here, bro. <laughs> no. Fuck, man. <laughs> Charles the best. He really is. <laughs> no. He, is, he really is. He's the <laughs> nicest comic, bro. He's having the Out time of all of the life. comics I met, he's the nicest one. Dog, this was his Christmas, and he came downstairs <laughs> to no gifts. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> yep. <laughs> all nope. right, so we yeah. agreed three strikes each. And then uh, Danny play the video. <laughs> Volume, please. But look at him. He's just playing around. I'm playing around. I haven't, I haven't hit him. 
That was nuts. Oh, no. Yo, you did that so fast. I didn't realize it was that fast when it happened. The guy put his hat over his head. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did he say? That was Mike Trainer. What did he say? Yeah, hold on, go back. What did Mike say? <laughs> None of these are landing. No! <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's that's not, not boxing. Yo, no, I think yo. that was me. Yeah, it was you. Everybody got so mad. Everybody got so mad at you immediately. No, everyone loved it, dude. The crowd I, was I, wild. I'm not gonna lie. I was there. I didn't get mad at first until I realized what happened. At first, I was like, "Oh yeah. shit!" Like, wait, that's not the rules. Oh, <laughs> yo, he cheated. <laughs> yo, Rob sounded so aggressive. That's not boxing. <laughs> it, it was crazy from that angle. Seeing it was. Ball. It was the, jarring. I was like. No! <laughs> for the audio only and listeners. It looks, it looks so much slower when we were there. It looks so fast right here. For the yeah, audio yeah. only, I uh, I threw a flying knee, but not a real flying knee. It was like... Yeah, it didn't land, but it, it didn't got close, land, kinda. But it, I think he got startled from it. And, and it was uh, the quickness in which you did. You did it so quick. Yeah, I'm fucking fast as hell. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think more so what it was is he wasn't expecting it, lost his footing. Yeah, and then he oh. rolled backwards off stage. Like you didn't land, but it was a lot of force. A lot you know of I mean? force. Like, there was a lot of force. <laughs> Jumped at him. Yes, a lot of I'm force. I'm explosive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, I do genuinely feel bad. And I texted him, and I think we're good now. Yeah, sorry, Blizz. I think he'll hear this song and be like, yo, those Damn, guys trainer do. looks like uh, JFK's wife after he got shot. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, the kick came from this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The knee came from... <laughs> the grassy knoll was the stage. <laughs> the grassy <yeah>. ball. <laughs> the grassy ball. <laughs> Damn. It's messed up, man. I seen Blixness at the bottom of his feet. I didn't know I was going to see that. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. But overall, great time. I mean, look, look at the crowd. They liked it. Look at these two guys up front. They're cracking the fuck up. That's the yeah. thing. In the moment, it was dope. Like I was like, oh! Yeah. What do you thought yeah. about? I was like, wait, that wasn't supposed to happen. No, that wasn't supposed <laughs> to happen. The was electric. I mean, and from my perspective, it wasn't supposed to happen either. I didn't mean for him to fall off the No, stick. I know, man. I felt really bad. But we were all just having fun, and then it, sometimes it is guys just being guys. Yeah. Too much fun. Yeah. I, I know where your heart lies. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> 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 it's funny. I was talking to Ben about it the next day, and he was like, I was like, dude, I don't think Blizz is like that mad. And he's like, yo, Blizz is definitely mad at you. He's like, where in your mind like was that cool? And I was like, yo, you're kind of right, dude. That was messed up a little bit. But he won't tell you he's mad because he don't want to get flying knee again. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I would never. <laughs> he owes me a flying knee, dude. Yes. We could do that. Yep. Ha have him back. <laughs> tell him he can knee you. Well, one knee. Matter of fact, we're we going to do an episode. We're going to get Blizz to come as a guest. And last time he came, mm, but... This time when you come, Blizz, we gonna get the fuck out the way. You can have a, you just do right the deer tag, Charles Blizznick by himself, bro. Yeah, we gonna be standing over there just watching you do your thing, bro. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. No, dude, that'd be mean too. Why don't we hang out with him? Yo, yeah, you're right. <laughs> we let him yeah, sit by himself. Yeah, why do we keep? Why, what are we doing? Yeah, we'll have a regular episode, man. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> Yo, you're get right. this. We'll do an episode. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> It'll be guys being guys. Yeah. yeah. No strings attached. No, for nope. sure. Yeah. Sometimes guys fall when guys are just being guys, bro. It happens. Yeah. Sometimes you knock a motherfucker down sometimes by accident. I take a good fall every once in a while. Yeah. But you don't want to fall in front of the people, all, all the bitches and shit. That's yeah. true. Like that's... It's, it off a of stage. Yeah. I, I don't want to see a lady to see the bottom of my feet until we're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck type of this is you doing? I'm trying to do the math in my head. <laughs> what the fuck? What position is that? Uh, it's a... F <laughs> Strap on, get fucked in my ass. <laughs> yeah, right. No, no, she's eating my ass. I'm I'm lifting my legs. Oh, so like you like a baby getting changed. I, I'm like a little baby. She's she's lifting my legs. What's she <laughs> eating it? Yeah, is she eating it through a stethoscope, dude? How she see your feet? No, that's impossible, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> if you sit Indian style, oh, sit yeah. Indian style... And she can eat your ass this way, then she can see your bottom feet while you're saying Indian stuff. Ooh, that's true. I like oh, that. Mm -hmm. That's creativity I need. <laughs> I like that a lot. Or oh, you know what you got? Karma you... Sutra over there, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know they got chair. They got chairs where it's like a hole in the middle. Oh yeah. So you can oh, eat oh, ass like and a, pussy through it. Like a milking, a milking chair. chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ever seen those before? That's well, like I've seen old... milking table, not the chair. They got chairs for ass. Yeah, for ass. That's Ooh. the old people's stool where they go to the bathroom in. You know, oh yeah. I, yeah, that probably is yeah. what it's for. You take the bowl off, then you go. Yeah, you're right. Damn, damn, yeah. you're right. 
I remember as a kid, that used to be like a big dream of mine to be like, one day I'll, I gotta get in the toilet and see ladies piss. But it never happened. <laughs> oh, like, oh, like lay underneath it? Yeah. Damn, bro. You, you never did. wanted to do that? You, when you were horny a kid? as fuck. Fuck <laughs> no. That's dirty. You went under desks and rub pussies, dude. Don't say I'm. All right, all right, all right. That's normal. Yeah, but that, that's different than pee pee and boo poo stuff. Yeah, yo. <laughs> no, I'm saying for the visual, dude. Maybe under uh, okay. a glass screen yeah, or something. You, you wanted to see how the sausage was made. <laughs> exactly. Ew. Yeah. I want to be in She's the meat factory. She's going to pee on your face, bro. Drew loves a BTS. A I don't yeah. even know what that means. Dude. Behind the scenes. You know, oh, somebody, yeah. somebody, behind the, behind the oh, shit. I knew what that Behind means. the shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody died. So you know somebody died like that? Some Chinese guy died like that. Uh, he snuck into the septic tank and then tried to crawl up to the toilets. And watch ladies piss. Yeah, pissing. so he could watch ladies piss and he just got stuck in the septic tank and died. Damn. Uh, Maybe what? that's what I was thinking of, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He should just went to the bathroom. I would just walk in the bathroom. You know. Yeah. Go all the way up. Yeah, what did he crazy. die from? If you can't, he probably drowned. You can't just be inside a septic mm. tank. Mm. Yeah. I'd say it better not have been starvation, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Calories all over oh, the place. Oh, he could have just been eating oh, shit. Yeah. He could have ate yeah. this shit and stayed alive. No, he died because he was eating too much shit. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> That's an acceptable answer. Yeah. <laughs> So you don't want that. So next time you have people shitting on your, you know I mean? your <laughs> yeah. fantasies, make sure you yeah, have that yeah. screen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Facts. Exactly. Gotta right. keep it clean, bro. All right. I'll get one. I'll get one of those. And I think you don't want to get Home Depot. You gotta get goggles too. You don't want to get shit in your eyes. Absolutely not, dude. That's how you get yeah. pink eye. The guy in the sewer should have had a, a snorkel. That's what he needed. He did. He, yep. Yep. See? There you go. This is problem. Wasn't it? Oh, never mind. It was James. Never mind. I thought you told me some crazy shit the other day. James told me the other day he sniffed his shower drain. And I was like, that's mm. disgusting. Oh, yeah. Get... I know why he did that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. That's because you were there when we talked about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> James accidentally, he, he shit in his shower the other day. Yeah, he oh, shit in the okay. shower. And I was explaining to him that when you do that, you got to go behind yourself and pour bleach in there and pine salt. You got to make sure because then your lady going to go in there after you, bro. But he yeah. said and he if just, it's just shit fumes coming out the drain, what the, the, the hell you doing? like the hose that unattaches, so he just sprayed it down. And then he's like, I smelled it the next day and it was fine. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. So now you knew about it. You knew how to clean this up is what you yeah, said. Yeah, because I've yeah. accidentally done the same thing before. I've done it. I've been there. I'm not afraid to admit it, dog. Pooping in the shower? I did it before, bro. That, like that a whole... nice. Sometimes you think it's a that, fart. And that sounds it's like, like something oh, shit, I'm shitting in the shower. Yeah. It's not nice. You shouldn't do it. You don't know your body, bro. Yeah. I, yeah, so, you, I, yo, you know what? You're right. Sometimes my body surprises me. You're right. You are right. You are right. My body does surprise me. And especially when you get, you're getting older, bro. <laughs> shit just don't work the same how it used to. You see what I'm saying? No. <laughs> you're, no, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to get smarter when you're older, bro. You're not supposed to shit, start shitting more. You're, <laughs> you're not like, oh, oh, you're in your 30s, my guy. <laughs> All right. You're right, but still. It's like your brain just finally fully developed. You're like, yeah, I just started shitting myself. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I self-factualized and I pooped my pants. <laughs> I was good at elementary school, but now I'm in my 30s. <laughs> Letting it go. That's crazy. I never shit on myself in elementary school. That's crazy. No, nah, yeah, you had right. to have. I never shit on myself in elementary. Mm. I shit on myself as like a baby. Yeah, yeah pre-elementary. Mm. Sometimes I used to hold it in because it felt good. You used to it used to think it felt good to hold in shits? Yeah. Oh, man, what? You're I don't know. sick. I knew no, somebody that threw my ass. <laughs> it was nice. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know, man. For how long? That, that was the shit I was on. How long did you hold them in for? Like uh, days? Like a few days. What? Yeah. And then I would take a huge hit, and that was that was a nice surprise. What I, I yeah, held shit for a completely different what, reason. What surprised you about it? You hadn't shit. I was in like, three "Whoa, days. this is a huge <laughs> shit!" What the hell? <laughs> of course, uh, and it made me feel like a man. Oh, hold on. When I was a boy, oh, like taking gonna, a huge shit. You're gonna leak farts if you do that, though. And some got out, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> some got out, leak, I, bro. I, I held shits before a completely different reason. Then I would throw the underwear uh, underwear away, put it under old trash. Yeah, and I was like, no one know. And they're like, why do these soda cans smell like shit? <laughs> Yo, what? My little yeah. cousin used to do that. Well, my little cousin used to take his shitty drawers, like when he'd come spend the night at my crib, and then he'd throw them out the window. Yeah. And I guess he thought, like, you know how kid, like, kids think that, like, if you if it's out the window, it's just going it's forever. Gone forever. And then my mom just found a bunch of shitty-ass drawers in, like, the back driveway. And she was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Paul the fucking been throwing his drawers out the window. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, man, that's wild. You got to hide shitty drawers, though. Yeah, you got to. I mean, just get rid of them. Yeah, throw them in the trash. I'd like walk them down to a neighbor's trash can, I guess. Throw them in there. Ooh, that's good. That's a good move. Am I the only one to go to the bathroom here? <laughs> I'm saying hypothetically. <laughs> I guess, y'all ain't got no toilets at your crib? Nope. <laughs> well, we're doing actually way more complex <laughs> than just yeah. simply go to the bathroom. Got to pull in the trash bag. I throw it on the, <laughs> on the roof. Like it's a pair of sneakers throwing a wire. You know I mean? put bricks in the bag. Bring it to the school cool. Throw it in the, throw it in the river. <laughs> like it's, it's a gun. <laughs> like it's a gun. Guns, guns, needles, and Drew's underwear. Bro, 
<laughs> this is your things. underwear we're talking about. <laughs> I don't do these types of things. I'm with Alan. I'm a clean man. All right, but if you're going to shit on yourself anywhere, the shower is the best place because you just can immediately get washed. <laughs> the shower is the most illogical place to shit in yeah, because it's right next clean. to the toilet, bro. Damn, you're right. You're right. It's the closest place. That's the only true. thing closer is the sink. Depending on how your bathroom set up, you're, you're right. a savage, bro. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You know what? The toilet is right there. I do feel you though, because when you it sucks when you realize you have to shit when you're already like halfway through a shower. Yep. You're like, damn, my body's all wet now. I got to dry off. I got to dry my ass. Yeah. You can't wipe an ass with wet toilet paper. Wet that's shit crazy. pisses me off. Not that, but wet, <laughs> wet shit's fine. But if your body's wet and you shit, it's crazy. Yeah, that's right. crazy. Yeah. That it really makes you realize how gross your body is. Oh, for sure. What? Yeah, there's some nasty stuff. And you know what? Do. Taking a dry shit is worse. I think. It is. It's worse. Yeah. But a wet shit just feels worse. Yeah, that's supposed like, like, like not supposed to be happening. You know. What I mean? Yeah. 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 You shouldn't have shower water hitting your back while shit coming out. That's not right. Yeah, that's too many good things happening. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Rob, we'll go home and do it. He's not, he was looking, bro. He, he, was, he stared off nah, his face. Nah, that, that, <laughs> that's one of the, the sins, dude. That's gluttony. <laughs> that's gluttony. <laughs> he was staring off into space, he bro. You're have Master of Disguise on the iPad doing <laughs> Oh, that's too much. <laughs> dude, I would die. <laughs> <laughs> Valhalla. I would have a seizure. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, that's too many things. No. Yeah, dude. So we're not the funniest podcast in the world, and that's okay. But... <laughs> yeah, we got beat up by fucking Rogan, dude. It's whatever. Y'all went number two? Fuck no. no. I, I nowhere near. We just we just met we just met Rogan way too early in the bracket. And he got us out of there easily. <laughs> yeah, Rogan karate kicked us back to fucking humbleness, dude. Yeah, dude. Rogan crushed us back. Like, what are we listening? <laughs> <laughs> no, chill. chill. Come on, Bobby. We don't do that around here. We do Let not do that. Let the blizzard hit the floor. Let no, the blizzard hit the floor. <laughs> Yo, this is falling apart. <laughs> it's falling apart. That's what Blizzard said the other night. He was like, it's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, that bracket was fucked up. They should have never been us against Rogan. Uh, but we did uh, get a surprising win against Flagrant. I'll take that. That wasn't a surprise. I know, but they're way bigger than us. Yeah, but I think dude. Bigger doesn't up. mean funnier. That's what I've learned, bro. Bigger does not mean funnier. That's why I try and tell my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I want that funny dick. It's all I got. It's all, it's all. <laughs> uh huh. Damn, bro. No, Jason Kelsey retired. That yeah, shit, that shit was sad. Dude, that's sad stuff. That was sad. I cried big tears, bro. Yeah, I ain't like I I, it. Made me very tears. sad. I'm like, God damn. I heard. Uh, sad. I heard the press conference was a tearjerker. I was listening yeah. to. So I listened to WIP on the way home today. And uh, it was a lot of dudes calling in right after the press conference and giving, like, their own Jason Kelsey stories. And it was like, you know how any, like, WIP or sports call is usually, like, guys who either played in, like, JV mm-hmm. or they yeah, coach, high school, yeah. or they, like, coach kids sports and they got, like, they know everything about the sport. It was basically like that with Jason Kelsey fans. It was like a guy like, I saw him in an Acme one time, and I said, Mr. Kelsey, you're my favorite athlete of all time. And he was like, that's cool, man. And he's like, I'll cherish that forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jason Kelsey <laughs> is white Philadelphia's Allen Iverson. Does that make Ooh, sense? Yeah. Like, yeah. He has that cultural yeah. Yeah. Right. effect on the white, the white guys. Yo. Like, yo. He was like, he's like their top. I think Jason Kelsey's probably the top white Philadelphia athlete ever. I think you're Ooh. right. Honestly, I'm not going to think about it. Mike Schmidt or something like that. I don't know, but well, no. Or uh, what's the word to play for the Phillies now? Oh, Harper, uh, Bryce Harper, Bryce Harper. Yeah. He's up there. They do love Harper. It almost was Carson Wentz before he fucking ruined it. Carson Wentz almost yeah. had that. Yeah, dude, that guy's got a fucking a deer hunting business now. I mean, we do love Big Dick Wentz? Nick, yeah. but not the same. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. do love Foles. Yeah, Foles rules. He got I me. Mean, got us a Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah, no, but the whole press conference, dog, I was like, yo, I'm not going to cry. It was like watching Forrest Gump for me, because that's a very sad movie. That is a sad yeah. movie. Dog, I was crying the also whole time. Also about oh. football? True. Yeah, it is. Yes. And I was crying the whole the whole time, dog. I was on Twitter. Like, I never cry on Twitter. I'm usually, you know, hard, you know, but it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying on Twitter. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Why do, why do athletes got to retire? Uh, but was his body just being punished too much? Uh, I think he, he thinks that he just fell off a lot. Really? He, yeah, he he, he kind of was. His body to that. definitely takes some punishment. That dude just car crashes every play. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, it's wild stuff. I think he said that this year, this past season, was one of the one like one of the worst. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was like, yeah, we, we we had big high hopes, so we just crumbled down the stretch. And I don't know, I'm just heartbroken. So he just, yeah, he couldn't take it anymore. He don't want to lose anymore. I guess. So. Yeah, I mean, unbelievable career. I mean, he can leave with his head held high. Yeah, if I was talking to him yeah. right now. <laughs> 
Give him a call. <laughs> and you know, I like to think about I, when players retire, I like to look back at like who they played with. Bro, he played with like John Runyon in them. You see what I'm saying? Like he played with like that that Eagles offensive line that was dominating everybody. Like he was there when they had like fucking McNabb and shit like that. He was there with like Michelle McCoy and them. Like that's when he came yeah. in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Low yeah, key? he did the end, of, the end of all that, the end of McNabb and all that. Yeah, like yeah. the end of McNabb. Michael Vick. Because he said Andy Reid was his coach for like two years, and then Andy Reid was gone. So it was like the end of the... Oh, yeah, that was the very end, then. yeah. End of he the was era. there with Vick then. Mm-hmm. Dude, I was uh, I was so hungover after the show Friday that Saturday I watched like six hours of the NFL Combine. Yeah, I was like, dude, this, yeah, bad. like just stuck <laughs> on my couch. Like, I don't even want to find the remote, dude. I'm just like watching guys run cone drills for six hours. I'm like, this, fuck, <laughs> this sucks, but I'm watching yeah. linemen and run 40 yard dashes. It was literally like right. the lineman <laughs> tight end. I was like, this is what it is for the day, dude. Damn, I, I used to do there. that in college. In college, I watch NFL Network all day. Yeah, I felt like I got some good information out of it. Yeah, good scouting yeah. reports. Oh, yeah, and then wait, Saturday we did a show and uh. There, I saw a very funny Naeem moment. This, uh, I was clearing out the back seat of my car, and Naeem oh, was like, "Oh shit, I forgot all about that." Shit. <laughs> and Naeem was, uh, "I'm clearing out the back seat because we had to pick up." James. I was clearing out the front seat, and Naeem's like cleaning out the front seat and, and walking into the trash. Yeah, and so he's just standing like outside my front seat, and, and he live in the hood in South Philly. Yeah, yeah, in like Point Breeze, and this crackhead lady walks past Naeem, and he doesn't even like notice it really. And, uh, or like do anything about it and then this guy walks as he's passing Naeem Naeem's like just like looking around mm-hmm. and uh the guy walks past him and he's like nah you good G I got this one and I was like what and he was like I got this one this is my cell I got this and I'm like okay and then he went up and, <laughs> s- and then he went up and sold the he lady sold crack, crack. Uh- <laughs> And then Naeem goes, he's like, bro, I didn't, I didn't even have no crack. I couldn't have sold her crack if I wanted to. I don't to. got no crack, bro. <laughs> he said, I couldn't have made that sale if I wanted to. Did you say that to the guy? As he's getting in the car, yeah, loud the car, yeah. Was he like, my bad? No, no the guy he was even... making the sale. He was still making the sale as I'm saying it. But he looked at him like, wait, what? Yeah. I was like, no, get in the car, get in the car. This is my shit. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like, dog, I'm not trapping on your block, bro. We leave it. I'm just getting ready to go somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I'm picking up after myself. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm putting things in the trash. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm making it better for you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a good citizen and you're destroying the community. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, facts. I'm like, what the hell? Dude, we should go out there with brooms and just sweep up while, like, the food <laughs> right While all the crackheads out there. Bro, there's so many crackheads running away. It makes no sense. Yeah. Dude, they're bringing, I because most of the drug use in Philly I see is, like, dope heads just nodding out. Mm-hmm. But on my block, I see crackheads all the time. It's, yeah, because around his way is hype fiends. Like, mm. they not falling asleep. They loud and hype and arguing. Yeah. And, Dude. Th- you got so, the dancing fiends. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yesterday, I was, uh, I was going to James's house, and I'm leaving my house, walking down to my car and there's one dude lighting a crack pipe like this just like holding it out getting it hot and there's a dude right next to him with an ipad and he's it's on full volume and i can hear the video and it's like a national geographic video about like hippos and lions and the the dude that's holding the ipad goes he's like look he right at him and the dude's just like (laughs) damn i'm like what a life dude so they're they're still retirement yeah of course Bro, yeah. if you smoking crack all day, you got you going turn tune into some National Geographic. Yeah. They, they, they probably... just argue about like the Sixers and the Eagles and National Geographic. Mm-hmm. That's sweet. National Geographic is probably not that intense for them because they probably see like wild shit. Like, yeah, yeah in true. Person. They probably see like actual people like, yeah. fucking on the street all the time. Oh, They're comparing it to yeah. like a fight they saw last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like World Star is probably like TBS to them or something. Right. Like that. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That's super that's mild to them. Yeah, they live that shit. So that they need to see like monkeys getting their assholes torn up in a jail. It got to be like super crazy. ridiculous for them. Yeah, that Man. shit is crazy. I almost forgot that crackheads even existed, but I always I'm reminded whenever I go to his crib. I go to his crib and it's like, oh yeah, I fuck, fucking crackheads. Yeah, man. they're out there, dude. They fuck out here, fucking hype piece. Next they're time, don't forget time. your don't forget your crack at home the next time. Like, I know you're right, bro. I gotta come prepare. <laughs> I could have made some money. Yeah, I could have made some fucking <laughs> money. <laughs> BYOC. Dude. That boy would have shot me. He'd have shot the fuck out of me or something. That's what bro. we were saying. I was like, what if you what if you had told him like, no, nah, actually I do got this one. Cause I thought about <laughs> playing with him like that. Like I thought about playing like, Mm-mm. no, bro, this is my cell. Fuck you talking about. I'm like, you know what? Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm not gonna play with him like that. You <laughs> yeah, see what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> it's Can't not play worth- with everybody, man. No, no. Fuck no. Especially niggas that sell crack. That's craziness. They hold life serious. Mm, over ten dollars, you'd have lost everything. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'd say uh, not worth it. Nah, dog. Don't, yeah. don't listen. Don't play with drug dealers. Just fucking buy your shit and move on. 
Hey, we want to take a quick second and thank you, our newest sponsor, Kush Life. Kush Life is the highest quality of THCA you can buy right now, and they'll deliver it directly to your doorstep. Doorstep, doorstep. doorstep. Right to your doorstep, bro. This shit is gas. <laughs> THCA is fully legal in 45 plus states and has the same psychoactive effects as THC so when heated. Needed. So just about any way you consume it, you're going to get high as hell, bro. Bro, I'm high as hell. Kush Life doesn't sell that Delta 8 and Delta 9 junk. Not over here. We don't do that junk. Mm-mm-mm. Yo, somebody put on Wiz Khalifa or something, dude. Hell yeah. Only the highest quality premium THCA T-A cannabis. cannabis. They have a great selection, too. All the strains you know. Gelato, Runtz, mm. Gary Payton, and more. You get that Gary Payton, you can be getting steals like a mm, mm. boy. You mean? The guys at Kush Life are working on a very special strain for everyone here at Good Boy and you guys out there. So stay tuned for special lines of bugs. Along with, the, well, along with the traditional buds, check out their prices on Moon Rocks and ask them about Kush Soda, which is set to release this spring, too. Wait, they, they got soda? They gonna have Kush Soda in the spring. Damn. Damn. That's cool. That's crazy. I like that. So support all the shows here and check out CushLifeStore.com. Use the promo code CushLife15 for 15% off of your order with fast and discreet shipping. No one's going to know. That's Kush Life 15 it's discreet. They're not going to put it right on the outside of the package, so it's a secret. Yeah. Try yeah. CushLifeStore.com once, and you'll never go further than your mailbox for great cannabis ever again. Brother. Stuff Get on Kush Life. Smoke up. Uh, yeah, you, you, showed me, uh, you showed me where you grew up. I was like, hey, stinks. <laughs> hey, stinks. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had drove Rob around my yeah. old. <laughs> <laughs> that, that place stunk on ice. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, Jesus. He was like, yeah, I knew it was getting bad because there was the BLM fists and then murals of black historical figures. That's what he said. And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Like, Martin, Malcolm, lock the doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But we, we, went to the, we went to the liquor store. I said, Bobby, you got to go in there. I said, because this nigga right here, they want to kill me. So you go in there, you get the liquor. They don't know you. They don't think you a temple student. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go in there, you get the liquor, and then we, I'm going to chill in the car. I did make a friend. You did. You was in there talking to a crackhead, actually. Yeah. Yeah, shit. What was the name of the forties I got? You got uh, Steel, Steel Reserve. Reserve. Steel Reserve. Yeah, she was like 11. Steel Reserve. She was like, mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> she was like, that gives me diarrhea and shit. And I was like, girl, I know. <laughs> I was like, you don't have to tell me. She said they give her diarrhea. I, 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 what? <laughs> she said it gives me diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like that makes me throw up and diarrhea and shit. And I, I, was, I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> I was like, dude, you don't even know. That's that yeah. liquid crack right there. That's, That's what they call it, liquid yeah, crack. Yep. Real. My oldest daughter was conceived on Still Reserve, bro. Oh. That's really? why she always got an attitude because she just, <laughs> just look like crack baby is what she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was born with Steel Reserve in her system. <laughs> That's my malt liquor baby right there, man. <laughs> so, wait, when you were drinking them Jones in college? I was going hard, bro. Yo, did I tell you? No, when I was up Kiss Town, we used to go get 240s of them bitches and just down them Jones. Oh, the, the the one year that it was in the Super Bowl was the Patriots. The, we went to the store to get 40s of steel. Dude, that's like 10 different years. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> right, the one we lost, it was like 05 oh, or 05, 04 or something yeah. like that. That year, we all went to get two 40s of steel reserve, and the plan was to drink the 40s before we got back to college. And it was only a three-minute yeah. drive. Damn, everybody's playing the same game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. That's what we was doing with that stuff, dog. Yeah. We had, see, we had walked down Main Street to the to the liquor, to the beer store, and we, like, on a walk back, we were going to try to finish them on a the walk back. Mm-hmm. But we never finished, finished them on the walk Finished two yeah. 40s on the walk? Bro, it was That's great. So we had finished hard. one. We had finished one on the walk. That's well, insane. one is still pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That shit make you smell like a bum. We was going there. Yeah, yeah. He was in there talking to girls and shit. They probably was like, the yeah, fuck? Yeah. Damn, in hindsight, looking at it, my, my baby mom was tripping. Why? She, yeah, right. <laughs> she right. got no standards. Yeah. Like, smelling like a 40 is crazy. That's crazy <laughs> on college campus, bro. Well, it's dudes with their best shit on with cologne. <laughs> Y'all smell like 40s. And we smell like 40s. Like, that's right. crazy. If you're in college, it's not too bad. Yeah, true. I mean, there's people that smell worse for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, I ain't smoke crazy drinking still reserve shit on yourself, man. It was a wild, <laughs> <laughs> wild life for you, bro. Yeah, you a stinky boy, dude. Yeah, I did. I, 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 you know what? I did shit on myself in college before. Damn, how many yeah. times have you shit on yourself? In life? <laughs> you did it in communal shower? As an adult, twice. <laughs> no, I didn't do it in the shower <laughs> at college, no. Damn. People were looking at you. Yo, his ass, his shit coming out his ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's wild. He's like, my bad, y'all was using the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in the gym for like three hours straight, and I caught the spins when I walked outside. Yeah. Mm. And I started throwing up, and then I started shitting at the same time. And I had on sweatpants. That shit was just like coming down my sweatpants. Ooh. Then I had to like sneak back to my dorm without anybody seeing me. Yeah. That shit was hard. People was trying to stop me on the way. Yo, now you come here real quick. I'm like, yo, I'll be back. I got y'all. I'll be back. <laughs> 
I got to drop something off real quick. Yeah, right. It's good seeing you. <laughs> yeah. It's always a pleasure. Uh, Just holding I will his ass. be back. Hell yeah. <laughs> I remember, I remember my, my man Wayne walked up trying to show me something on his phone. He's like, yo, now you looking through? I said, yo, I said, back up, bro. I said, who? I said, matter of fact, I'm going to come look at it later. I started jogging <laughs> and shit. I started running out that bitch. Yo, text it nigga. to me. Uh-huh. <laughs> running just shit coming down my pants. And shit. I'm like, God damn. Yeah, you can't be doing that. That shit was, it was bad. <laughs> damn. damn. You never shit yourself, Alan? No, not that I can't remember. So everything was probably before I was at least elementary school. Though. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I never. Like I said, I, if I had to go, I'm pretty good. I got, I got pretty good butt senses. Yeah. Like I yeah. know when it's not. What it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know your body. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm self-aware of what's going on here, bro. Right. <laughs> Damn, that that's crazy, man. You mastered it. <laughs> you figured it out. <laughs> Once you get past college without doing it, you good. Yeah. Apparently, I thought. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, uh, I, I yeah, thought so. <laughs> but I don't know about that now. Yeah. Yeah. You're probably not going to do it until you're like 80. Yeah, probably until you're 80. I mean, that's a good age. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing it all the time when I'm 80 on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, ah, come clean it up, y'all. <laughs> get a fucking bitch, nurse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of my homies take care of his grandma, I and mean, he be having Just to do all the that shit all day. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> now pass me the remote and clean this shit up. Damn, yeah. he's wearing a fucking diaper. Yeah, that would rule. Yeah, my home, my one of my homies take care of his grandma, I and mean, he he be having to like change her diapers and shit. I'm like, dog, you a strong mm. boy, bro. No, that would kill me. I could never do no shit like that. What you gonna do? Let her just be stinky? Are you gonna put her in a home or some shit? My sister gonna have to do. One of my siblings gonna have to do it, or my mom gonna do. It. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's gonna be somebody besides me doing it. Wait yeah, your grandma's ready, ass. I'm not waiting my grandma's ass. And you know it's sloppy too. Uh, uh, <laughs> grandma cheeks. <laughs> Gra- grandma cheeks. They're sitting down and like the, their their ass cheeks at that point they kind of mm-hmm. look like a triangle, like a, like a knuckle. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it's like a, it's like a hoof. Yep. And that old lady shits, imagine what that smell like. Yeah. Uh, you, don't want, you don't want that. Did I tell you uh, when I was trying not to come, I, I would uh, I would picture my grandma shitting from the toilet's perspective. That's a good way wow. to not come, bro. Yeah, hey, there you go. That, that way. It really works, man. Of course. I'm going to try that, actually. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> or you could just jack off before you fuck. That's my cheat move. I just jack no, off. Because then it's yeah. not as impressive when you do come. I mean, yeah, that's true. so? She's like, you got baby combs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And who wants so, to come like a baby? <laughs> not I, dude. <laughs> who the fuck wants to come like a baby, dude? Bro. Like, nah. I mean, yeah. I guess you only need a little bit. That's that's something you would think, though. Just cheat. Just jack You got off. three kids. You do want less cum. Uh, yeah, for sure. That makes sense. I want zero cum. Yeah, I'm trying to maximize If I could have a feeling dude. without anything coming out, hell yeah. That happened to me one time, and I was scared as fuck, bro. You, yeah, you ever that, shot a blank? You ever shot a blank before? Mm-hmm. Bro, I thought I was finished. I said, what, I said, what the fuck happened to me? You got to get a vasectomy. Yeah, I will eventually. I'll probably do that this year. Yeah. yeah. Can you get that with health insurance? Is that like free? <clears throat> mm, it's like an elective. Yeah, that's an elective. Right? You got to pay for that. But I heard it's cheap. I heard it's like 500 bucks. No, that's not That's cheap. actually not bad. One of my hairs said, it's not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to what a kid costs, that's a yeah, drop in the bucket. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean how much it's a, does... It's $100 more than an abortion. 100 more than an abortion, bro. Let's right. sell two ounces. You'll be right there. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they, get, they be getting titty reductions with fucking health insurance. Because that can get the... We should. Yeah. My, my back hurt with all this nut. <laughs> 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 Who do I talk to? <laughs> right. Yo, I'm built up. Yeah, yo. <laughs> my fucking lower back is killing me. I'm going around all of my life. <laughs> damn. <laughs> like, damn. It hurts. They don't know the struggle. Wait, is that how it happens? Do they, uh, do they drain your, your nut and then you just stop making it? No, they, it's, a, it's a tube. So it's like one tube shoot out liquid, the other tube shoot out sperm, and then the liquid and the sperm come together and come out your dick, right? Wait, in real life? Yeah. yeah. So I that, thought you were talking so about that, like that, doctor that, shit. That, right. that's, no. why, that's why we have two balls. Yeah, that's why but it's two one's, nuts. one's for the piss, so one's for the So people tubes, not, all right, continue. So then, so then the, the tube that got the, they got the sperm that come out, they just tie that bitch up. They tie it in a knot so that can't nothing come out. Nah, that's but, not, but, it doesn't uh, seem right. I mean, I, it's not, that's why it's not 100%. Like, you can still get somebody pregnant, nah, but it's I like think, a, I think they burn it. What? No, because it's reversible, ain't it? They do burn I, it. They burn it. Yeah. You can probably burn it, then cut it. You know what I'm saying? So then how is it reversible? I thought they Like cut. shoelaces? Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they stringing lacrosse things? When, yeah, women get tied. Women get Water their tubes dogs, tied. Right. Yeah. Water dogs. So then how is it reversible? If it's like reversible, ain't it? Because if you burn, like, think about a shoestring. If you burn the end of a shoestring and then cut it, that burn out there no more. But then how you going to put it back together? Burn it again. Burn it back. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you could probably sew it back. Uh, damn. damn, you can sew a... Sh- nah. <laughs> You're like, wait. No, you like can't. I know, because I know somebody that got, got it done three times. How small do strings get, dude? What are we even talking about? No, you can mm-hmm. weld it. You can actually weld it. Yeah, these okay. microscopic <laughs> strings. This is what I'm you talking about. You can weld it. Put a coupling on there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hmm. Damn. Some nuts and okay. bolts. That's crazy. I'm definitely getting a vasectomy, though. You should, though, because that pulling out thing. It, 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 I hate it. Yeah. And it don't work. And you be like. You, it it you just, works. It does? That shit don't work for me. Nah, I'm I'm doing great. I got two kids off of pulling out. Wait, you got one? What? You got one? No, pulling out. Uh, he said yeah. pulling, oh, yeah, out, pulling out, works. out works. Yeah, my bad. That, that works for people with weak sperm. No, pulling out works. What? No, no, no. <laughs> it do. no. Dude, you just said you jerk off before you fuck. We don't. We have big fucking loads. We have, we have big loads. Yeah. So that pregnant. means your sperm is even weaker. No, you have you have little self control. No, That's I, I pull out pretty early. Like I, I pull out yeah. and then I have to jerk off for a little. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. okay, yeah. That's why I don't like pulling out. Yeah, I don't like doing that. Yeah, I'm like, not doing that. Yeah, I don't like Bro, doing I'm that. Letting, I'm letting yeah. two shoot off inside first and then we pull out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then be like, oh. that's not pulling <laughs> out. That's not pulling out. <laughs> yeah, bro, you should just leave out. it in. That is pulling out. <laughs> that, you're just rubbing the rest. <laughs> you're just rubbing <laughs> dry dick on her stomach at that uh, point. Bro, that is pulling out. You let the first two shoot off in there and then you pull out. There's only two usually. Shit, not mine. Damn. Yeah, I, I, think like, been... I got like a fit. My, my, I got like a. My, I got like a 15 shot. Mine be like, oh, a douche, it. a douche, a douche, a yeah, douche. Yeah, you should douche. jerk Mine off. Before you... <laughs> <laughs> Mine got a 15 shot in it, bro. Yeah, you got to reduce, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you a unicorn, bro. When you get to like <laughs> mid 30s, you're not supposed to be shooting that much, bro. I thought yeah. it was gonna stop one day, bro. I don't know what's going on, but you know what? My dad was having kids well into his late 50s. So mm. how are his loads? I don't know. You gay, bro. You see my dad loads, bro. I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna dig his ass up and ask him. No, he wouldn't even know. He's dead. How would you do that? Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. Dig his ass up. And so you got aunts and uncles your age? I got... Is that how that works? No, 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 no. Your kids will have aunts and uncles their age. Not even... No, I was one of the late kids. My dad was like 53 when I was Yeah, born. you got brothers that are like I got 70. brothers that's oh, like 60 and 70 and yeah. shit like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. My dad died. He was 86. That was like two years ago. You got grand brothers. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, I performed at my brother's 60th birthday party. That's crazy. Like, he had me host his birthday party for him. Uh, are they like you at all? Or are they like... From what I hear, we they were like me when they were young. Were they old as shit now? You know what I'm saying? Like, did, they ever, <laughs> did they ever bully you when you were like a baby? No, bro. They was probably forty. I was gonna say you could go, you could go back and kick their ass now, dude. You know what I'm saying, damn, give a three year old a nuggie. Yeah, right. <laughs> Remember me, Indian Burns. <laughs> Just That's a baby crazy. Old. You widgie with your diaper and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my little brother. It's cool. <laughs> Yo, bullshit himself. <laughs> a four year old man. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I got nieces and nephews that are way older. I got nieces and nephews that's like fifty. See, that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Like, weird family shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my my granddad, he had kids young, like kids till he was old too. And I got I got uncles and aunts that are younger than me. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's wild. We like cousins. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, how you having kids after your kids had kids? Right. That's nuts. Yeah, right. it's wild. I don't know. I never had any of that. I came from like a. Like everyone was the like same a white age, family. like a white <laughs> white man. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah, yeah, right. surprise! Because uh, white people wait until wait, they wait a minute. Yeah, right. What oh. the fuck is that? White people get married at twenty five, have kids at like twenty eight, yeah. from twenty eight uh, to thirty five. I do have an uncle that's a few months younger than me. Really? Yeah. 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 My my pup up was fucking in these streets. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Danny and Dylan both look like they have brothers that were born yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My my dad was sixteen when he had me. Yeah. No, you see, he was calling them retarded. <laughs> oh. Bulls born yesterday. I'm, nah, I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. I wasn't saying that. I'm but kidding. I am like 23 years older than my sister. See? Mm. Damn. Danny comes from a black family. <laughs> he does. He's adopted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I almost won a black excellence award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For what? That that was Daniil. For a video project. They had my name wrong at CCP. They thought he was Daniil. Oh, yeah. So they spelt my name Daniil. <laughs> and then I turned in this video, like, Black History Month project. And then they just made some assumptions. <laughs> and I got nominated. For an award for black excellence. That's, That's crazy. So awesome. Dude, they were probably pissed when you were there. <laughs> that was through Zoom. Uh, that is crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. Damn. Dude, have you guys, uh, have you seen uh, Joshua Mundy? No. Never heard of him. Dude, shout out to uh, that guy. Dap, Dap2K is his like, YouTube shit. He's a he's a pedophile hunter. One of the guys in the comments put me on to him. Oh, he he make people do like push ups and shit like that. No, dude, he slaps the shit out of them. <laughs> oh, okay. he, Ooh, dude, that he, sounds good. He gets them. Uh, he like gets in their face with the camera and he's like, 
Yo, I I agree. I'm not gonna call the cops, which I think legally. I don't think you can. Yeah, I think legally, like he can't even do that. So he salts him. He can't call the cops. No, he can, but the cops like don't do anything most of the time. Because because technically, like, it's like if if I if I set up some shit where I'm acting like I'm a kid and some guy comes, technically he didn't commit a crime because I'm not a kid. You see what I'm saying? That's what they do though. Don't the cops do that? No, that's what what you call. That's what um to catch Chris, a predator was Chris doing. Hansen. Chris Hansen, yeah, that's but, what he was doing. But that's that's the thing. Like a lot of those Chris Hansen cases, they were getting maybe even arrested, but they weren't. Yeah, getting, but they weren't getting prosecuted. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that's crazy. Because you can't so, prosecute somebody for trying to fuck an adult who's pretending to be a kid. You see what I'm saying? But so the so worst it, they could do is reputational damage. Yeah. Right. Or you could do what this guy's doing. He's Smack a true vigilante. Him. That's nice. He gets him. He'll dude. He'll corner people in like the aisle in Walmart. Oh, he got like, shot during one of these. Did he? That's what it say. Oh, that was years ago, I guess. I don't know. He's still doing it now. But, dude, he gets these people and, like, makes them admit to what it is and, like, makes them do the whole speech. And they're like, I I, I admit that I'm here to do sexual activities with a 14-year-old boy, and I agree that I will not prosecute against Dax for doing this, and I'm willing to take my slaps. And he'll be like, all right. Thank you. And then they stick their face out, and dude, he slaps the fucking shit out of what? him. What? Dude, it's so hard. Why don't they just run? Because he tells them the cops are there. I guess it. I only see the YouTube or the Instagram clips. Yeah. He has a full thing that you have to subscribe for, and I might subscribe for it. I might get on the paywall for this. Damn. This is some of my support. Yeah, he should do like a meetup so we can all just jump these guys together. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that would be fun. Just beat the fuck out of some pedophiles. I'm bro. Send me the event I'll break. these bulls. Danny, I'm so about to send you his page. He's dapping up their face. Yeah. Yeah. Dads against predators. Smacking the fuck out of them. I'm down Damn. for all this kind of stuff. The, Same. Like a, they the worst people, bro. They the, worse than anybody. There's something kind of crazy about this, though, because there's, like, um, there's like a whole industry now around, like, pedophile catchers. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a catch-22 where it's like they need these predators or else they lose their Squarespace sponsorship. True. Yeah, true. <laughs> they do need pedophiles. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's this true. predator slap was brought to you by Blue Chew, you know? <laughs> like, what are they going to do when uh, they stop doing it? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Start. It's like cops need criminals. I don't think it's You're making wrong. a good point here. Yeah. yeah, true. It's like the the Joker when he tells Batman, he's I like, kill you. you. So you're pro like, predator. You complete me. <laughs> you're pro predators. <laughs> now, those guys must be. Right. I don't care if they lose their jobs. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Fuck Dap. I don't care. <laughs> Damn, bruh. Just out here catching pedophiles. Why don't we go catch some fucking killers? Catch a killer, nigga. Go catch some, go catch some murder. Yeah, I mean, uh, catching uh, pedophiles is probably less scary. It's way less scary. Yeah. Because 9 out of 10 of you a pedophile, you're also a coward. Yes. yes. So yes. you're going to be scared of a grown man. Probably scared of most grown men. And not only that, you're so turned off. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what, I'm man? scared of my dick is so soft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not working. <laughs> you, gotta da- you should download it and send it. Yeah, I could. Uh, I should have done this before. <laughs> well, we, could, we could run it on the page. Yeah, we'll do it yeah, on, the page. on the page. But for the people at home, look up uh, Shua Mundy. On, yeah, check him on out. Instagram. That guy rules. Oh, y'all saw Red Bar talk about me? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. His fucking wife was on my dick. She said, he looks good. <laughs> <laughs> she said, he's strong. He runs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On How my she dick. <clears throat> Who have knows? You, no, I mean, it, it, uh, it, it didn't. It wasn't crazy or anything. No, he actually was more so mad at his fans than me. Yeah. He said the worst thing about me was that I was black. I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, he oh, said, wow. we're going to go after him because of the color of his skin. Because of the color of his skin. That's what he said. That's for real. Because of his color. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said. So he this Jewish boy. He like a comedian critic or some shit like that. So it's not like real beef. We ain't got to fight. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't would, say it's I real would deep. bully him. If I saw him a person, I would bully him a little. <laughs> yeah. I'd scare him a little bit if I saw him. You knee him off a stage or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. You can't take it that far. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> who does that? Yeah, who the fuck does shit like <laughs> that? That's, that's nuts. Oh, Sounds like maniac. the old me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy. About to turn me back to the old me. Old <laughs> me. Old please, me. please, you better get down on both knees. No, Joe. no, yo. <laughs> <laughs> this is going exactly how I thought it was going to go. I knew this was going to happen. I'm going to send him flowers tomorrow, I swear to God. Nice. Yeah, I, I really do love Blizz. I do, too. The Blizz being pissed is, uh, I would put it under the column of unacceptable. Did you see how he looked in that corner when he was texting, bro? He was pissed in the moment. I didn't see it. Bruh. I, I went up to him afterwards. I was like, yo, are you good? He was like, I'm good. I was like, yeah. 
Yeah. Right after it happened, Drew looked off stage and he was like, yo, he's like, Blizz, are you mad at me? And Blizz texted him on the phone. He looked up. He was like, <laughs> said, and I truly know he's Drew pissed. feels bad. I do. Yeah, Drew he does. feels really bad about it. It was uh, it was haunting my soul that night, dude. I get it, man. You can't do things to. And that, nice that probably sucked like in it. in the the Hangover the next day. You're watching the fucking combine. Yeah, I'm just watching the <laughs> NFL combine, being like, damn, dude, did I lose a friend? <laughs> right. <laughs> but we're good. We're, we're, we've <laughs> made up. We love you, Blizz. You know that. We Many sorries. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's good. that's good though. But I didn't know if you really had beef out here in the street store because I've been. I've been trying to put my hands on some comedians. Yeah. yeah. No, I really want to. I be you feeling like beef. Because I be feeling like they be too uh, fly. They be talking off the leg. They be thinking shit not real sometimes. Yeah. Like sometimes yeah. Somebody said something to you before? Just the way that, the, the, not, it, just some things. You know what I mean? But the you things have been done to me that I was like, I want to put hands on this guy. Yeah. Just so but nobody you ain't like a rude that. type bull. No, I'm not. And I say you're and always and nice. Yeah, you always, you don't grind people like up. You're also like 6'5", so I wouldn't like, I'd be and like, I mean, yeah, 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 he got that. 6'3". Alan be playing. 6'3", 210. If you're over 6'1", you're 6'5", to me. Y'all all 6'5". Right. Yeah, so you, uh, I don't know how you'll take this, and I mean this, you have kind eyes. Thank, no, I get, I get that a lot. Yeah, really? Uh, yeah, you have Y'all got the same eyes. type joints, don't they? They yeah. got like the same eyes over here. You do have nice eyes. My eyes mm-hmm. are green, yeah. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know what these are. Green. They're green. They like They're green. green? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got the same things. That's what I was saying. But yeah, yeah. man, I, I think, I've been thinking that like people don't, you know. Sneak pe- dissing or like straight up in your face? They, I don't think they be knowing what they be doing. Okay. Because you ever see somebody, yep. people think it's sweet? You yeah. Mean? Like, oh, you don't know. I'll choke you right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I, but I want to get booked on this show next month. So exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to chill. You know what I mean? That's the thing. We, as, a, as a comedian, you really can't put your hands on anybody. Not on another comic because unless they unless it's like an open micer, you could beat up an open micer. On my second open mic, I tried to actually fight the host because I didn't know why I went last. Because I, uh, I yeah. didn't know the rules of the game. Yeah. That, that experience when you uh, have it for the first time is fucked up. It yeah. happened two weeks in the, my first two weeks in a row. Yeah, I yeah. signed up like top three, and they put me last. I tried to fight the host. I said, "Yo, you, you got a problem with me, bro?" <laughs> Dude, I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I've been there for Meanwhile, sure. It's your second open mic with another Charles. <laughs> with another yo, we, yo, we all been through that shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, that was a different time. I've been through that a few times. <laughs> that one was crazy. I was like three years into com- like four yeah. years into comedy. Wait, who would you let? Oh, Charles, Charles Steele. Still, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got there at like seven thirty, and he put me dead last. And then I. We put him last the week before, but it's because he got there at, like, 9.30. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, he's being petty, whatever. I'm hanging out drinking. But I got mad when he announced, all right, we only have five comics left. Or he's like, after this five, we only have five comics left or something like that. And he announced those five. I wasn't in it. And then, uh, dude, I saw him go around to people at the bar, and he's like, you want to try comedy tonight? <laughs> That's crazy. You guys, you guys want to try and do five minutes? That's crazy shit. And then I fucking poked him in his chest mad hard. I was like, pussy, see me outside. He was like, what? Well, I'm working. I was like, no, you're not working. <laughs> Neither of us get W9 by this place. You're fucking gay. <laughs> Come fight me. Dog. Yeah, I realized I was bugging. Yeah, but sometimes people Naeem need to tried do... to fight Silas. His, yeah, like, I tried to fight. Week in yeah, that, that was my second week doing um great room. And Silas he said, "Pussy, I'll roof you." Because <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> I asked him, he said you go throw him on the roof. Was like, I was gonna throw him on the roof. <laughs> and Silas was like, "What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> roof me? You gonna give me <laughs> drugs?" Because <laughs> bro, he it thought was, he was gonna get fucked. You know how much you <laughs> you go date rape? Right, me. you go date rape? Right, right. I will roofie literally me. rape you, dude. <laughs> Silas to this day thinks he might roof him. <laughs> yo, no, because you know how like when you do the open mics, you ask constantly, yo, am I, when, I, when am I going up? When am I going up? When? So I guess I asked him one one too many times, and then he got on stage and he's hosting, and he named the next five people, and he was like, yo, and another thing, he said, the next motherfucker coming here <laughs> asking me when it going up, you can rumble me, dickhead. And I said, <laughs> I said, oh, I just asked him. Oh, he talking about me. Damn. Oh, I said, oh, he don't know. I like the fight. Nigga, that's what I do. But this is like Silas like a fight. Silas like this small. Yeah, yeah. Silas tiny as shit. Just like a goofy leprechaun dude. like <laughs> Trying to get his only laugh of the night. <laughs> He's I'm like, like oh. fight me. I'm like, oh, you want to fight? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, mean, I came to the right place then. Yeah, that would have been really fucked up. <laughs> if I'd have beat Silas, that would have been <laughs> yeah, hard. That would have been crazy. <laughs> that would have been hard. Yeah, Silas is the man. But yeah, dude, uh, I, that someone, uh, I was really drunk. It was like. I don't know, within, like, the double digits of me trying it. Mm-hmm. And I brought my girlfriend at the time, and I was so drunk, and I bombed. And uh, I forget what comic. It was a black lady was comic. Was your girlfriend at the time a comic? No. Okay. 
No. So this is like early on. Yeah, the yeah. real early on. And uh, and then she was like, yo, that bull sucked. <laughs> she was like, that guy fucking sucks. Like, she kept going Damn. in. Damn. And, like, my, my face, like, turned so red, and I was so pissed. And I wanted, I, I was like, babe, we got to go. <laughs> and then we went to a <laughs> diner, and I'm just fucking blacked out drunk, just eating eggs. I'm like, that bitch fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck that fucking bitch. Comedy is gay. Oh, she yo. doesn't get that joke? Her whole set was ass, don't you think? And she was, like, pretty funny. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was just losing. It was top yo. out <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> yo, <laughs> just Tata crushing. <laughs> <laughs> the titties isn't even funny. <laughs> I got titties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you all have tits. Damn, bro. Yeah, yeah. That shit weird in the beginning. And when I first started. <laughs> When I first started, the Philly scene was kind of volatile. Like, it was a lot of beefs and, like, people, it was people that wanted to fight each other and shit like that. And I'm like, oh, this is what this comedy shit is? Like, a bunch of people just beefing and shit like that? Remember Malachi Smack, what you call him? Outside oh, yeah, of Grant Malachi Room? Smack Joe Murdoch. He smacked the spark out of this <laughs> motherfucker face. Because Joe Murdoch called him my Uncle Tom on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, that was crazy. Oh. Dude, hey, look, that was, like, my second open mic ever. That shit was I hilarious. I pulled up and Malachi smacked the shit. Out of Joe Murdoch, I was like, what the fuck is that? Bro, the walked most up to intimidating me. guy versus the least intimidating yes. guy when you don't know either of them. I'm like, yes. Malachi's just a jacked military dude at the time. Oh, fuck. This Bro. is when Malachi was still in the military. He had, like, he military was. boots on and shit. He didn't even like anime yet. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> he smacked yeah, the bro. shit out of Bro, him. he walked up to me. He said, he said, damn, he said, nah, here go the boy, the boy Joe, Joe Murdoch. I said, oh, yeah. I said, well, what's up with him? And he was like, oh, like, back in, like, August. He called me Uncle Tom on Facebook. It's like November or something, bro. It's like, like November. He, said, he called me Uncle Tom on Facebook. He said, I told him, next time I see him, I'm going to smack the shit out of him. And he was like, but on some real shit? He was like, I don't even care no more. And I was like, but, bro, you did say he was going to smack him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yo, you right. Yeah, I walked right away. And then he, and then he grabbed him. He's like, he like, no, nah, I'm sorry I had to do that to you. you know <laughs> he treated like a dad, bro. He, he said, I'm sorry I had to do that to you. He said, but you can't be saying shit like that. I'm like, damn. <laughs> How did uh, Joe take? He was holding his face like, why'd you hit me? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You the reason Joe Murdoch got smacked. <laughs> no, it's not. Nope. You could have de-escalated for sure. <laughs> yeah. You're it's the one that fault. put the hit out to get pot killed. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I just, I, I simply reminded him of what he said in August. That's all. <laughs> like, bro, you said you were going to smack him. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Is you said it. <laughs> I bet you nobody messed with Malachi after that. After that oh, hell it. no. That's why you got to put hands on at least one person. <laughs> yeah. But you got to do it early. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. you got too much to lose I'm now, too, bro. Yeah, you now. can't do it now. It's over. Okay. Yeah. You're going to lose bookings if you start smacking people now. Yeah. That's yeah that's mm -hmm. No, you got to pull up to an open mic you don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just go to comedy. No, just go to, like, Fort Leaves and smack somebody. <laughs> Somewhere this in South Jersey. Anyway, pow. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, go to high note and start dropping motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, go fight Matt Peoples. <laughs> that guy's been asking for it. Damn, bro. Damn. It is a lot of tough guys in comedy. Or people that want to be tough. Who, like who, dude? Call them out. I mean, I ain't going to call nobody out. Ain't nobody really tough, tough, though. It ain't. We all, we, we all jokesters. We all We're in the arts. Yeah. Yeah. We We're all artists. jokesters. People just like to act like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is fun to act like that, though. No, it's not. Until, until you get into some until real it's shit. it's not fun. Yeah, until you get some real yeah. shit, then it ain't fun no more. But when you're just acting like that, it's the best thing in the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but before getting humbled, it's the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's always great for you to get smacked. Yeah. I'm saying there's yeah. always People believe everything you say. Yeah. It's like, damn, bull was lucky I almost fucking popped up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Yo, look at my hand. Look at my hand. Yeah. <laughs> I had a fist ready. <laughs> that's how that's how boys be talking to their girl. Like every yeah. everybody girl think that they tough. Right. So boy be like, yo, you know what? You babe, you knew I was about to do that, nigga. You know what I was about to do. But, your girl like, yep, I know. She, meanwhile, she never seen you fight ever. No. She ain't never seen you fight nobody. She told all her friends, I had to calm him down. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> He's, He's, so so <laughs> He's so crazy. He's so crazy. He's so crazy. That's true. Every, everybody girl think they tough. I knew I knew a dude that used to rob people with a, like a CO2 BB gun pistol. Or it might have been like a paintball gun. But did it but, look real? Yeah. But he was one of those guys where like he thought he was fucking invincible. And I was always like, dude, I can't wait till this goes wrong. Mm -hmm. Did you know my brother? <laughs> <laughs> he did five to ten for doing the same thing. Damn. <laughs> really? Yeah. Damn. With, with a, a fake like, gun? With a fake gun. He did five years. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Robbing Drew's friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, man. yeah, somebody, when I was going to Kutztown, 
um, somebody had did that he robbed the pizza store. He tried to rob the pizza store, and they had, like, the button where you can just lock the door on him. Mm. And they locked the door on him, and the guy that's behind the counter knew that his gun was fake. And he pulled his shotgun out. He said, now, I know that gun fake. He said, you ain't going nowhere till the cops come. Yeah. And boy, them getting locked up for that shit. Yeah. Damn. Like, boy, he saw it from the rip. Like, that's a fucking BB gun. Mm-hmm. And he probably what said some doing? weird, like, pizza guy line. He's like, don't order the pie if you can't handle the cheese. <laughs> 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 or something like that. <laughs> 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 Those videos are always, uh, they're always, like, sad and funny at the same time. Like, the videos of robberies gone wrong. And, and then, then they, they get, like, locked in the store. Yeah, they shit. hit the button, yeah. and then they're like, no, no, And they, like, bang it on the door, yeah. try to no, yank it over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that shit is hilarious. I love those videos. I love robberies going wrong videos. Oh, yeah. dude, I saw a bad one where it was, like, it was kind of sad. It was, like, the, these two guys robbed the store, and then the, the guy behind the counter started stabbing one of the guys that was robbing oh, him. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, and, and he, he was like, his neck, I'm bro. dead. Yeah, I'm going to die. I'm dying. <laughs> that was, was like fucked I, up. That was like bro, a bong store, He was store stabbing him like right here. Yeah, like, yeah he was it was like a like, smoke like, shop. Yeah, he was uh, stabbing like in the back of his neck, that's and the boy crazy. was saying like, I'm dead. <laughs> Dude, imagine dying for a bong. That's crazy. That's <laughs> nuts. That's the worst shit ever. Yeah, damn, boy was stabbing the fuck out of him, too. That was nasty. That's crazy. He's trying to steal some synthetic weed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they got stabbed in the fucking neck. It's crazy. I, saw I think he lived, though. I'm sure. I mean, if yeah. you're screaming, I'm dead, I'm dying, you probably aren't dead. Yeah, or you're, you're alive. <laughs> you're <doing that. laughs> Definitely yeah, not dead. You're probably very much alive. <laughs> no, I saw one where these two guys ran into a jewelry store. And, bro, when I say, like, as soon as they ran in there, security guard just opened. Like, they ran in, and when they was running, they was pulling their gun out. Security boy just said, doo, doo, doo. Put both of them down immediately. Then the one guy tried to like run back through the um, you know, the, they got the, the doors that like turn mm-hmm. the revolving oh, door. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, he tried to go through the revolving door and he just and like you just see all this blood come out of his neck and shit. And he just fell inside that. Yeah. He just said, God Ooh. damn, that's crazy. It's a I, bad that's way to go. That's kind of crazy as a security guard. Like, just open up. They ain't even your jewelry store, bro. You gonna yeah, catch bodies over it? Yeah. Hey, gonna think, yeah. What if it was a phone, bro? Like, what if they was, what if they was hype running into the store pulling their phones out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, I gotta take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do, do. <laughs> now you done shot two in, people. Make a zoom in. Make a zoom in. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, relax, security guy. He was waiting for that day. Yeah, I didn't even know they could have guns. Points. Hmm? I didn't even know they could have guns. Security I think, guys? I think they can have, yeah, they, they, got, they got guns. They have banks and jewelry stores for sure. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's wild, though, to really, like... Bro, he let them have yeah. it. Like, bro, I was talking about, they got, like, they ran, like, three steps and was, re- and was pulling their shit up, and he immediately said... He was on some John Wick shit. Couldn't I was like, win. what the fuck? He just lit the cigarette after. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, he, I'm like, they must have gave him a raise after that. You got to get a raise after that. They probably fired him. Probably. <laughs> probably yeah, they yeah. probably got sued. Probably the jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you, I, can you shoot people before they actually start robbing? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you can shoot before they rob. Dude, dying in a fucking locked revolving door is the worst. <laughs> yeah. You're pushing it with your That's like my worst fear in general. One of those getting stuck and my neck is shooting blood on the glass. Yeah, bro. That stinks. Yo, it was shooting blood everywhere. I, I, you I saw, saw that, that shit. That was nasty. Yeah. That shit was crazy. <laughs> and he was like, it was so much blood that he was like slipping. Like, as he pushed yeah. the door, like, his feet was slipping. Oh, it was like Whoa. a Quentin Tarantino bleed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, it Damn. looked fake. It looked so gory. How are you going to wear the jewelry he got on his neck now? If he, <laughs> true. Literal blood diamonds. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Can you imagine being a customer in there that day? You'd be like, I'm never coming back here. <laughs> <laughs> I would never come to the jewelry store ever again in my life. Yeah, yo, I would hit Yelp immediately if that was me. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One star was in here earlier. They People killed. got shot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, died in here. <laughs> died in here. Yo, if you like living, don't go here. <laughs> also, diamonds not that shiny. <laughs> they put the dye in diamonds. <laughs> Came for two carrots, left with two killings. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dog. Motherfuckers be dying over rocks, bro. Over shiny rocks. Yeah. Man. Crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah, diamonds aren't even that cool. I always thought that. I always liked, uh, what's the green ones? Or the Emeralds? blue ones? Emeralds. No, blue ones. Uh, Sapphires. 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 I want one of those. Sapphires are nice. Is that lady jewelry? Yes. All right, never mind. Then. I think uh, but, um, it is. Anything other than a diamond is for ladies. Diamonds are also for ladies, but I think that men can only wear diamonds if you're going to wear some shit like that. Yeah. You can't even wear your birthstone? Yeah. No, you can't wear your birthstone. You can't even wear your birthstone. <laughs> that might be even gay. Yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't even know your birthstone. Right? You can't even wear your birthstone. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't even know your birthstone. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know mine, but Drew might be sapphire. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you came with your first stone. That's crazy. Yo, tell yo, meeting girls and telling them that, like, yeah, actually, this is my birth stone. <laughs> Dude, that's I bet, nuts. But I bet that crushes for the ones that it crushes with. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, ladies, the girl that are, that's ladies yeah. are into astrology are like, I'm fucking this guy immediately. Yeah, yeah. they like that. Yeah. Ooh, can we find out our birthstones real fast? Oh, yeah, I want to know mine. Do, do you know yours? No, I'm not there. Let's yeah, I don't have out. a clue. I think mine is a, uh, I'm going to say a ruby or a garnet. It doesn't go by month or yeah, it's day. By month. Oh, by month. Mine is August. August. I'm March. Oh, so you and Drew got the same one. I'm an aquamarine. March, uh, aquamarine. Ooh, Ooh. that's gay. <laughs> well, what's August got? August is a period. Period. Oh, period. Peridot. <laughs> a period dot. What the hell is that? Uh, so wait, August got two of them. Ooh, I'm emerald. Emerald's cool. Hmm. How the fuck April got diamond? Yeah, that's I don't like the best that one. That that's kind of boring. I want mine to be diamond. Why the fuck is April a diamond? What did you name? August. Oh yeah, period diamond. What the fuck? Why is also why is this even a thing? Like, yeah, like, like a, it doesn't make no sense. There's like a birth month bird <laughs> that you can have. I was born in like the month of the fucking uh, sparrow. Or Yo, some I'm shit. a cockatoo. <laughs> I don't like that. Why do states have their own bird? It also says modern and traditional. Traditional for March is bloodstone. Bloodstone. Ooh. Oh, that's I'm back hot. In. I'm what back the fuck in. is a bloodstone? Yeah, that's hot. Rules. I like that. What's traditional yeah, that's for if August? You drink too much iced tea. August sar- <laughs> sardonyx. Sardonyx. Man, they don't give a fuck about August, bro. No, sardonyx is good. That's what onyx is made out of. Man, that's a normal rock, bro. <laughs> you you like, ever seen the Pokemon that's onyx? A, he made out of Damn. rocks. He made out of boulders. Yeah. I don't want to be. I don't want no goddamn boulder he for did my head. Dude, that guy did suck for how big he was. He was huge and he didn't do anything. You used to catch an onyx and he'd only no tackle. I'd be like, yo, you're 17 feet tall. Yeah, yeah and he was weak uh, with water. He sprayed water on him. He's done. <laughs> yeah, <pull Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, he put water on him. He's done. And like rocks are usually fine with water. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> In every case I've seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every Just case I've right seen. Off. Unless it's over like thousands of years. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, Pokemon yeah. fucked up with that one. Yeah. Damn, I'm just emerald both ways. Any way you cut it, dude, I'm emerald. Damn. Emerald's a good one. Yeah. You should get an emerald. I'll get an emerald, dude. Yeah. I'll fucking put it on my butt plug. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I don't know, man. Nah, yeah. I'm afraid of shitting in the shower. <laughs> I put it in when I shower, dude. Yo. Oh, so you really got one? Uh, no, not for me. Oh, okay. See, this is why everybody <laughs> thinks you're gay, Bobby. This is exactly why. You say shit like this, and you'd be surprised. People are like, oh, I thought you was gay. You'd be so surprised. And the, yeah. I thought they were like, damn, that guy's so free. <laughs> That's gay. Being free is gay. <laughs> was this the 1860s, bro? Yeah. <laughs> no that one was free, so free. I know that's what I'm saying. It's not a cool thing anymore. Oh, okay. I see. I see. It's not a flex. That guy's yeah. so free. What the fuck? <laughs> Rob's free. That works. Yeah. Bobby Freedom. I'm a free elf. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, dude, let's wrap this and go to the Patreon. Oh, it's Patreon time. Yeah, it's Patreon time. Yeah, you got time dude. to do the Patreon? Sure. Yeah, so yeah. I, yeah. I want to go to the John. Oh yeah, at some point tonight. What's the John? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Get, yeah. Whatever you got time for, dude. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do like another hour of this and then get out of here. This is kind of close we'll to take John. Take my hoodie off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, wait, we're gonna plug, take a break too. So. Yeah, plug all your stuff though before you uh, before we're done. Yeah, plug your shows, your Instagram. Oh, so we, we okay right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So um, go to iTunes if you listen to this. Go to iTunes and search. We got action. I dropped the comedy album, uh, pre-ordered on iTunes right there. We got action. Um, Alan Massenberg. Um, yeah, I don't know if y'all y'all put my name on the thing on the yeah. screen or something. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. All right, yeah. So my name, my Instagram is my name. All my stuff is my name. But go to iTunes and search We Got Action and download, pre-order my comedy album. That's what I want y'all to do. Mm, Hell yeah. It's nice. Yeah, follow Alan on everything. Catch him when you can. Uh, he's a very funny guy. Yeah, Thanks for doing that. Hilarious. Bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate Thanks, it. Alan. Um, also, get on the Patreon, <clears throat> patreon.com slash do rag and the deer tag. Get on there. We're about to go to Patreon and tell secrets. Yeah. Yeah. Name, some, over there name some names. Time. Where we're going to have the, the full uh, live podcast. Live pod's going to be on there soon. And um, wait, I told somebody I would plug a date that we have that I have coming up that's not selling well at all. <laughs> 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 oh, uh March 14th, so next Thursday, I'll be in uh, North Plainfield, South Plainfield, New Jersey, with my redemption at the pizza shop, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. I'm trying, I'm coming back, I'm making a fucking big wave in there. Let's go. Sweet. Um, 
And then also April 12th and 13th, we'll be in Mississippi. Hell yeah. Pull up. And uh, check me out uh, March 29th in Boston with Tim. Yes. Uh, that shit's going to be awesome. The, the first show sold out, so they moved it to the Rockwell Theater, which is a bigger venue. So there's uh, still tickets for that, but it's probably going to sell out. So Hell yeah. fucking come through for that, dude. That's going to be so Boy fun. selling out. Also, this Wednesday, I'm featuring at Helium for the first time. And now I'm hosting it for uh, Mark yep. Malls. So come through That's that. Come to Helium. It's going to be sick. Nice. I don't need my dates. They're all on my Instagram and stuff. Yeah. And then we'll be in Mississippi. Yeah, we are. I already said that one. Oh, you already said yeah. that? Sorry, I was looking at mine. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that's it, baby. See you guys on the Patreon. Peace.